The Arkansas River Trail has become a monster of a trail, more than 88 miles and growing. But most of the new loop sections run alongside highways and can be a little too strenuous for the average cyclist. And that's me, the average cyclist. So when I bike, I stay mostly on the original loop, a 16-mile trek from downtown out to the big damn bridge and back. Maybe you've never heard of the River Trail, or maybe you've heard of it but never actually seen it, or maybe you run or bike on it all the time. In any case, tonight we're going to try to show you why it's a trip worth taking. Using our GoPro cam, we're showing you tonight the best of what the River Trail has to offer. Our launch point is the Clinton Library and our first big scenic overlook, the Clinton Presidential Park Bridge, a stunning view of downtown Little Rock to the west and a more rural look at the river to the east. It can be a tough ride up, but lots of fun going back down. And once you're down, on the North Little Rock side, it's a quick trip past the landing that includes the USS Razorback submarine and eventually Dickey Stevens Park before hitting more rural territory. I like riding on the north side because you've got the bluffs and it overlooks the river and you can see the, I guess it's the Verizon campus on the other side of the river. And as you get closer downtown, you can see downtown open up in front of you on the north side of the river. And that looks really good, especially in, late in the evening like this. Another great part about the trail is there are so many places to get on it, and nowhere is that more apparent than the middle of the North Little Rock side at Burns Park. The trail here breaks off into several other paths, some paved, some not, where you can spend hours exploring the forest wildlife or enjoy riding by the golf course. Plus, you get closer to the Arkansas River here than anywhere else on the trail. Once you've made it eight miles out to the Big Dam Bridge, the traffic is likely to pick up. This section going on to Two Rivers Park is by far the most popular part of the trail, and it's little wonder why. The views here are spectacular. The bridge, the longest pedestrian and cyclist bridge in the world, built solely for recreation. I wish more people would take advantage of it. I really do, especially now that they have the two rivers that you know go over on the island or the peninsula. It's really nice. Even though the bridge is massive, it takes less time than you'd think to cross it. As we've already established, I'm by no means a serious cyclist, and it took me only eight minutes to get across. Once back down on the Little Rock side again, it's a scenic rural ride out to Two Rivers Bridge, where there's another place to park your car and hop on the trail. And if you cross that bridge, you can find even more secluded trail riding through Maumel Park. But the sun is setting. So I'm turning back around and going back up on top of the Big Dam Bridge to catch the last few looks at the sun as it dips behind Pinnacle Mountain. A peaceful moment of relaxation in the middle of a great workout. 